And when I started, I was always listening to people on YouTube, especially like Filipino artists like myself. Mm -hmm. And ironically, it happened that I'm now on the same stage as them for this festival. So it's like a full circle moment. What is going on, Wishers? My name is DJ Lo, and welcome back to Wish USA. And I am actually here in the studio today with the one and only Jessica Domingo. Welcome to Wish USA. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here, Jessica. And first question, first and foremost, everyone who is watching, who doesn't know who you are, give us a quick two sentence pitch. Who is Jessica Domingo and what do you do? Uh, my name is Jessica Domingo. I am a singer-songwriter from Seattle, Washington. I moved to LA just a few years ago and I've been writing music, I've been producing my own stuff, recording, engineering myself, and recently got into music production. So yeah, and also doing mm -hmm. some shows. So that has been kind of like a whole <laughs> jack-of-all-trades kind of yeah. thing. But wearing all the hats has been very fun. So. Mm -hmm. And to say the least, Wishers, Jessica really is a jack of all trades. And we're going to be getting into your upcoming shows later. But first, I do want to mention how, and I'm sure everyone who's watching knows this, all our Wishers, um, mainstream media or mainstream music here in North America has really been accepting a lot more Asian singers, Filipino singers, you know, P-pop culture, all that good stuff. So for you, in your eyes, what do you think made that possible? for Filipino singers, Filipino musical culture to really flourish or start flourishing here in the U.S.? I definitely think the rise of social media has made a huge impact on creatives and musicians just because when I started, I was always listening to people on YouTube, especially like Filipino artists like myself. Mm -hmm. And ironically, it happened that I'm now on the same stage as them for this festival so it's like a full circle moment right but um that has really opened doors for me to to see someone that looks like me that is also doing music and um inspired me to do covers now i'm writing my own stuff so it's just it's really cool to be exposed and especially nowadays it's really fast to to just connect with other asian artists right work with them and see everyone just globally being able to to connect so i mm -hmm. think that has been very special i feel in the asian community that you can easily find new artists and discoveries right there's so many streaming platforms now you know spotify apple yes. music and then there's our social media platforms instagram facebook twitter all this stuff that really helps with getting everyone's music or whatever you do out there for mm -hmm. people to see and you also mentioned it this upcoming festival so uh, in a few days, in September 2, you will actually, actually be performing at the 626 Night Market, TFW, or That Feeling When, from 5 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So talk a bit about the show and what can we expect from you there. Yes, I am performing day one of the music festival. On Saturday, I'm the very first performer. So what you can expect is original music. I'm going to be performing some songs on my debut album, Butterfly Paradise. And um, I'm going to play guitar. I'm going to have my full band. So it's going to be a good time. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes. there you go. But make sure to come early at 5 p.m. because that's, that's when it starts. So yeah, we're going to be playing mm -hmm. some originals. <laughs> How are you performing for this, for this show? How am I performing? Or preparing for the preparing, show. Preparing yeah. uh, rehearsals and just like re-listening to my songs. Mm -hmm. So there's actually one song that I haven't performed live yet. So oh, snap. yes, okay. I'm going to um, play guitar for that one. There you go. Is that going to be just you playing guitar or? Full band. The full too. band, yeah, but you're playing band. too. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so wishers, please be sure to get your tickets. Now is the perfect time. That is going to be at 626nightmarket.com slash TFW. Again, 626nightmarket.com slash TFW. Get your tickets now. Be sure to be there early for Jessica Domingo, 5 p.m. wishers. And staying on the ground of, you know, your music being embraced in the music industry. Number one, did you guys know that Jessica Domingo was actually on the cover of Amazon Music or Amazon Music's playlist? Uh, was it? Yes, Asia it, was, it was Asian. Um, it was an Asian playlist yeah. that uh, showcased a lot of Asian artists. Uh, shout out to Frankie for putting me on there. But uh, when I released that, I had just suddenly became the first song on that first playlist. Song. So 
it's really cool to see the my latest single on there. Mm -hmm. Yes. And your latest single was Don't Want to Fall in Love, right? Yes. So what is your like big <laughs> message behind the song that was able to get it to be the first song of that playlist? I think it's so relatable. I okay. think many people are scared to fall in love. That's what the song is about. It's more of just having fun, temporary flings, and um, kind of reminds me of like a summer jam, like summer, summer jam. fling jam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not to mention your songs. I listen to Don't Want to Fall in Love. It's like, it's groovy. It's, it's yeah, groovy. it gives me kind of like yeah. groovy vibes. Mm -hmm. It's funny because the music video, I, I creative directed it and it has like this visual, like groovy visual. Right. Like, the background is very 70s mm -hmm. inspired. And for like a summer hit, you really want that <laughs> song to be groovy and right? free flowing. Right. That's, exactly. what, that's what really makes a summer hit. So I'm yeah. assuming you're going to be singing that song in the upcoming... Might be. It might, might be. be. <laughs> right. yes. Not zipped, but <laughs> probably, most likely. If you guys love this song, be sure to, again, check her out in the upcoming TFW show. Yes. And um, finally, Jessica, I'm going to give you the mic. Uh, for all of our wishers, please, who are watching, invite mm -hmm. them. And what's your message for them with this upcoming show of yours? Yes, please come through. Get your tickets at the 626 Night Market. Thanks to Mix Global for having me. This is my first time performing, so I'm really excited. It's going to be a good time. And that is going to be wraps, honestly. Yes, so thank you again, yes. Jessica, for being on the thank show. You. And again, wishers, please be sure to get your tickets at the 626nightmarket.com slash TFW. Jessica is performing first, so be sure to be there to listen to her and all of her music. And with that being said, wishers, as always, keep on wishing.